just want to say hello everyone to the welcome to the stream uh well actually let me go ahead and start by saying hello everyone hello observers this is laboratory tech 13 here from the riptide project laboratory well today we're actually going to do a quick stream of working on some more of the cephalid deck that i have put it together last week uh, if you were here last week, I started a deck. Uh, let me go ahead and get the cards out real quick and show them on the stream. I apologize for no face stream at the moment. I am currently working on extra solutions with my other uh, webcams, so that way you can see all parts of the stream at the same time. You may notice there's a, uh, two different, uh, no, maybe not. There's a stream going on with the cards that you can see currently, and there's also a uh, little, Thing off to the right that shows you the cards I'm currently looking at. It's actually my card reader. So if I go ahead and put this card over here, for example, it should show up with uh, the card that I am currently uh, looking at or scanning. So uh, this one should be Cleansing Ray. Yeah, there you go. See? And you can see the cards that I'm looking at. So this is actually great technology so that way you can see uh, the rest of the cards that I'm looking at currently for my decks and stuff like that. Now right now it's currently got Rivals of Ixalan stuff in there uh, from uh, my current Rivals of Ixalan setup. Uh, what, we'll, what we'll do is we'll use the card reader when we're working on some more decks after we continue working on the Cephalid deck. All right, the cards that I have worked with right now, I actually have everything set up here. Uh, last week, I had an issue where I could not find uh, the blue deck that I was working on to pull cards out of that to use for my uh, commander deck. Plus, I also have, uh, if I grab it here, uh, a little nice little pad over here that I will be using to check out. Wow, this has got great uh, battery on it. I will be using to uh, build my e.com. Uh, that is uh, one of the best website sites that you can use to get your e Welcome anyone to stream who's watching me set up. I actually have it set up uh, just like last time on the previous cards that I was looking at. Uh, so you can see I am looking at blue cards on edhrec.com. So uh, we might want to just leave that in full view so that way you can see what I'm looking at as I'm looking at it. Uh, don't mind any extra lighting issues. I have a bunch of different light sources going on so that way everything shows up nicely. Uh, if you are following me here from uh, or checking out other streams such as the amateuring and any other streams like that, I welcome you to the stream. Uh, today we actually are, uh, let me update real quick, today we are celebrating 100, over 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash c slash iPerlab. Celebrating. So I appreciate everybody who is coming to watch. Uh, you're celebrating that, as well as uh, here. So hopefully you get a lot of people in here. And I appreciate all the people who are watching. I will upload this to YouTube afterwards as well, so that way uh, people can check out all the the cool stuff that we're getting on here. This is the information here, celebrating our wonder YouTube subscriber. I appreciate everybody who is watching the stream as well. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? So, let's recap what we did last week, all right? Last week, we started the deck off with uh, Action Cephalid Emperor. So, let me go ahead and load up. I actually have a lot of Onslaught and Odyssey cards. Let's go ahead and load that up, uh, so that way you can see the cards I'm looking at. Uh, I might also try to fix the card reader as well, so that way you can read uh, everything correctly. So let's get rid of Vitals of Ixalan, let's go down to... Judgment. Uh, yeah, let's do that right now. Okay. So, uh, do this right here. Uh, let's see if we can get it to read average. Uh, 
whatever. There we go. So the commander, of course, is Abishin Cephalid Emperor. We're using that uh, as our commander because his ability to make Cephalids tap target permanent seems to be like a really good uh, setup here. Um, that's first, that's our commander. So we'll go ahead and put him up here. Uh, what else shall we do? Let's move the way, move this over here so that we can show off more cards. Alright, so we're also using, uh, now this, I'll pick this one up. Yeah, probably not. We're using the, the this version of Deep Analysis because we don't have the regular version of Deep Analysis. We don't have the Odyssey version. So we're using that one instead. Uh, so of course we're going to put that in the deck. Commander goes over there. Uh, we've got Counterspell. We've got Control Magic because we want to take stuff. Uh, Abish really likes to take stuff. Um, we've also got Wonder. That's a really good card as well. Okay, we've also got Callus Suppressor. Callus Suppressor is a really good card. Let's see if you can read it. Come on. There we go. Callus Suppressor. Yes, uh, one and two blue. Uh, people really like this one, EDH, because it steals some commanders that are uh, really... It steals commanders. I mean, it's still the same as long as they choose the correct uh, creature type. And you can always change the creature type later with some abilities in, in, the, uh, in the deck. So what we got here, we've got one and two blue, blue creature cephalid, one, two, you may choose not to untap it during your untap step. As it comes into play, your opponent chooses a creature type. Uh, tap, gain control of target creature that isn't of the type as long as Calus Oppressor remains tapped, all right? Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do here is we'll look at Crown of Ascension. Makes it so enchanted creature and other creatures also uh, creatures that share a creature type with it gain flying. So we really want flying uh, in this deck. There are a lot of combos that we're going to be flying. Uh, we've got Alter Reality here. See if we can grab Alter Reality. Come on. Trying to figure out the best spot for the reader here. Come on. I know you can do it. Let's uh, move the camera. All right, we're gonna move the, the uh, camera here. See if we can read now. Come on, camera. I know you know.
Oh wow. My mic actually working for a while there. I apologize for that, observers. Uh, make sure this stays together and works well, okay? Uh, gotta pick it up. It's good. So, let's keep uh, the deck. I know you can see all the cards on the screen, so that way there's a good way to not know what I'm what I'm doing. Go on, go on. Yep, get out of the way. I've got a cat who loves to watch. Uh, so you might see the cat come in and out of the shot. Uh, I apologize for that, but so you know, seems fun. Let's go ahead and check out the chat. Glad to have everyone here. Okay. Well, that's not picture for you guys. watching. Okay. Hi. Yes, I see you. Okay, come on. Okay. So the next cards that we're going to go look at here are one power stone. I definitely think we should play uh, for sure because we need all the mana we can get this deck. Uh, we have Tefri, uh, Tech Mage. Wow, look at the cat covering up everything. Yes, I know. I see. You're looking at all the cards. I understand this. Alright. That's been great. I understand. Okay, so we've got uh, Tefri here. I think we want to use Tefri. Look at the top to your library. Uh, you can activate loyalty play abilities of Planeswalkers. I really like him. I think we're going to use him in the deck. He seems really, really good. Uh, I'll tap up to four targets. That's really going to help with uh, the lock that we're trying to do. Sapphire Medallion. I'm going to play that. Play some more islands. Ooh, look at this full mine. Mine's design. It's pretty good. This has got Storm on it. Until the top of your library, you may play that card until... Yep, yeah, uh, that seems pretty good. We'll play Mines Desire. Uh, we've got some more islands. We've got Insidious Will, Counter Target Spell, Copy Spell. I like that one a lot. We'll definitely play that one. Um, no, I like to get rid of these unstable cards. Or, sorry, unglued cards. We're playing with unglued cards in this deck. There's another island. Brush Stroke, Painter Mage. Uh, Psyche Trance. Ooh, is a Cephalus. Right here for until the end of turn, wizards you control can tap target spell, counter target spell. We've got a lot of wizard decks, so we will have at least a couple that we'll be able to uh, use with this ability. So we'll definitely run this. Well, maybe. I'm not too sure. I mean, the art is great. That's for sure. I don't think we want to run though. So I think we'll just take that one now because we have enough wizards to make it viable. We could probably just run a bit like a, just another counter spell or something. It's interesting because when you cast that spell, most people are that you have just a straight counter spell, and like having wizard to control have to counter this spell. So uh, Halamar Depths, we're going to run that. We're going to run this island. Uh, Fabric, I don't think we really need to run that. We'll take that out. That seems like a better fact deck. More islands, Void Mage, Prodigy, we'll take that one out. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely run Teleria West, I see there. Uh, Teleria West. Ghost Mirrorscape seems fine. Go search up two more uh, islands. Uh, frame it out. Uh, Artful Looter, we'll take that out. These are a lot of uh, un unglued cards that I had put in and on cards uh, back when I could play with unhinged cards with my friends. So. We've also got Future Sight, we'll definitely play that card. Uh, Patron Wizard, nope, we'll take him out. Alchemist, we'll take him out. 
untap or un... Yeah, we'll take him out. Well, actually, a Fettel Alchemist is a combo but with Illusionist Bracers. Because if you untap target artifact or creature, you can, un with, with Illusionist Bracer, take a copy of it that untaps itself and something else. Tarkar draws two cards and discards two cards. Oh, we can actually mill people out just with him. Uh, we might actually just put him in there just, just. He's a combo himself, so we'll leave him in there. Uh, we like this island. I don't know why I'm taking it out. So let's make it into a sleep. Uh, Stony Book, Banneret, Merfolk spells and Wizard spells cost one less. No, we're not going to be using that. Muddle the Mixture is a great tutor spell. We're definitely leaving that in there. Def great tutor spell. Uh, Rewind is a great counter spell. Ristic Study is a great card. Let's take out this uh, Moniker Mage. Got some more sleeves here. Oh, we're definitely leaving in Merchant Scroll. Love that card. Oh, old, old tool. Uh, old tutor. Uh, Island Archive of Imagination is staying in. Because we, we, the whole deck is banking on making our opponents lose flying. Uh, like reversal, untap all non permanents you control. This is a combo with the Ice Crumb Scepter, isn't it? If you use an Ice Crumb Scepter, perhaps the Ice Crumb Scepter, well, as long as you have it in mana, right? Ah, not too big, not too big of a mess. We'll take that up. Information dealer, we have to take off. Uh, let's see here. We've got Sphinx of the Final Word. Can counter flying hick and the sorceries can't be countered. I mean, I like it, but the Bible. We'll take that out. Well, Sky Diamond definitely keeping on the island, island. Rip Eye Director. Oh. I don't know. There's my director, and, uh, you know, she's too happy about it because, uh, you know, she, she thinks that the art isn't, you know, fully representative of how she looks. Uh, you know, it's a really sweet look on the art. Uh, if, you, if you can take a look here. She's wearing a pretty sweet lab coat on the art, but uh, I don't know if it's going to recognize it. Sorry, director. Can't recognize you. Well, you know, her... her, her was open and sure came out wrong and you know it's just got her got her bad side and i mean you know she went to work wearing only a bra and uh you know they they caught me and it was kind of bad so i apologize anyway, uh our kale man so return to start answer a sorcery from your hand i don't know if i don't want to run that i don't think so we'll put that into the side uh island for sure supreme inquisitor lets you tap wizards to search the target player's library for five cards from the game that's um, I like Guile. Uh, we'll put that in there because countering your spell and being able to cast it seems fun. Paragon of Gathering Mist, other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. I think I'm going to keep him in there, even though you know, he's, he's not a stuff. We'll, of course, keep the Tide, Serum Visions. Uh, we'll take out Lorthos the Tide Maker because, well, man, that's so, that's so flavorful, though. Let the Cephalids summon up their bro. Like, I almost want to keep it just for fun. Yeah, keep it. Why not? It's honorary, you know? Seems like a good commander card, so we'll put Lorthos in there. We got uh, Island, Temple of Falls, God, that seems fine. Blue Sun, Sin, Sin. Echo Mage, we're taking out for sure. Uh, Summary Dismissal, Blue Sun seems fine. Memnarch, what are you doing here? Take Memnark. Oh, wizard. We'll take him out, though. We, will, we are not going to use Memnark. It's fine. Uh, Sage is dousing. Yeah, we're going to take that out. Uh, target spell unless it's control over PC. Uh, Riptide Shapeshifter. Ooh. Yes, that stays in here. But let's go look at uh, Lorthos and stuff like that. That's hard, right? Uh, Dismiss into Dream. There's the there's the illusion card I was looking for. Whenever this creature comes target ability sacrifice it do i have a way to target creatures for zero i'm not sure uh we're definitely keep um oh, school at water's edge because untapping target like permanent seems pretty good uh 
And then we'll get rid of Dosin of Perfection. And we've got another island, right? All right, so we'll have to check the land count in here, make sure that the lands are okay. But uh, beyond that, um, I like lands. We'll probably add Path of Ancestry and select to make this right proper uh, commander uh, tribal deck. All the new uh, commander cards from Commander 27. We've got a lot of sleeves here, so there's a lot of sleeves to fill. So let's go ahead and fill it up with the cards of that stuff with the broker. So then we'll figure out if we need to take out cards. Uh, Miss Bracers for sure. And then we'll look at the uh, ED deck list, and then we'll decide whether or not what we want to add to this deck. But pretty much this deck is really clutched already. We'll take out Arcanist. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, sweet card, but it doesn't in the deck because it's a wizard. I mean, granted, you know, draws a bunch of cards, but I think we've got some other draw uh, spells that we're going to run. A lot of cards from like, in this uh, in this setup here. We've got Lebesser, Little Quadus, uh, Rab, uh, the Infinite Mana Coach, I'm sure. Uh, is a deck that we can grab out of. We can uh, mill people out. I've got a bunch of cephalids here that will tap and mill cards and draw us into the cards we want. We've got some interesting combos here with pedantic learning, uh, cephalid constable, which mills on it, or no, actually returns up to X target permanent owner's hands where X is the damage dealt. So if we can pump the cephalid constable, we can just be bouncing, which is hilarious. Uh, Keep Watch seems like a really good draw spell uh, for when people are attacking. I've got a person in my that is playing Vampires from Commander 17, and it is a really good, really good deck. But if I can draw a bunch of cards, it should be really good. Uh, we've got Mission, which is really, really nasty. Um, with Inertia. Cephalid Path Mage. I'm going to be like basically uh, milling myself and then drawing Mist of Stagnation and and basically making it really hard for people to untap stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a really good lock if I can control the graveyard, which I'm going to look for some more uh, that can help me control that graveyard. Get Crown of Ascension to help my dudes fly. Wonder helps my dudes fly. We want basically everybody to fly and their stuff to not fly. And uh, we're going to use a combo in this deck. With Abishin. and oh, we got two cards, two, two, uh, two sleeves left. Let me take some more cards out of the deck. Well then, so we need to go get uh, one of the cards that's uh, crucial for this deck, which is Siren's Call. Uh, give me here, and we'll actually go look at it. Oh, uh, welcome everyone to the chat. I am Laboratory Tag. Or sorry, Lab Tech 13 of the Rift Project Laboratory. We are going through uh, the seven EDH deck that I'm building with Abish and Cephalid Emperor as the commander. Uh, what also we are doing here as well uh, is setting up a great tribal theme going on with the deck. We've got lots of Cephalids in the deck. Uh, Abishin is because he has a mill uh, type of uh, setup strategy here. Not mill strategy, but I mean, like, he can tap down permanents. You can tap up without flying, so you can make people not use their abilities. It's just a great all around card to mess with people. The unfortunate problem is that he's six mana, but we, we can work around that. We've got lots of ways to increase our mana in this deck, so we'll be working on that. Alright, so Dismiss into Dream added to the deck. Uh... Ooh, Think Tank. Think Tank is a good card, but I think we want to search for Kanta because it just might be better, right? So I think we'll use search Kanta in the deck. So that's one of the cards right here. And then, uh, Mystic Decree. All creatures lose flying in Island Walk. I don't think we have that card. Let's go ahead and take a look. Check out Mystic Decree and see if we have it. Hopefully we do. That's a really cool card from Homelands. So creatures lose flying in Homewalk or Island Walk. Does that mean that uh, my creatures get flying, the other creatures can't lose flying? I'm not sure. Well, it looks like we actually don't have Mystic Green anyway, so I'm not worried about it too much. Uh, so what are we going to do now? Uh, yes, yeah, so we get Search Rose Cantus. So pull out the Ixalan Binder over here. So I've got all my cards set up in binders uh, in the back here. And we're through Growing Rights of Itlamok. It's green. Where is search? 
Do more search for skin today? Yes, we do. Uh, we also have, well, we have the special fun from uh, the special decks uh, search for skin. I think this is actually a decent bit of money. Here. Is, is it better? Like, yeah, we got the special one with the helmet and all that. That's that one's a pretty good one. But we'll use the regular here. Uh, which actually, I'm not sure. I might have put the search into another deck. Let's take a look. Ah. Let's check the illusions back here. We've got Mental Tutor, that seems like a good card. Uh, Dungeon. Sleep is a good card. Creature controls. Yeah, we might have to put Sleep in there. Oh, we've got a nice foil control magic here. We'll definitely use that. Here's your control with flying. Get plus one, we'll use that. Uh, we've got Mind Break Trap. We'll use that card. Uh, I think we want to help stop. We'll also use Easter Eyes. For I can use Days for I can use Draining Whelk. Blighted Cataract seems interesting. Uh, nope, nope. Man, the same resource with Goblin and Charlter. Uh, we like Flood, so we'll use that. Uh, Rise from the Titan's okay. Wash out seems to be good, we'll use that. Ah, right, here we go. Harrigan Drake. We just need the other part of that combo. Uh, creatures flying you cast, cost one less to cast, I don't think so. Uh, Seer Sundial seems like a good drawing card. I like Illusion is gambling bit a lot. So I think we can use that one. Uh, we also like this. Let's use that one. There's so many cards you can put into a deck, it is ridiculous, you know? So many cards. Uh, and the problem is you can narrow it down to the ones you want to use, right? Uh, so... We've got vampires over here. We've got lotus blossom. That's okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I think we're done here. We will grab search for scant and we'll use that. Yeah, because it basically does the same thing as think tank, but better. Yes, it is exactly uh, the same as think tank. But better. So we'll use that card and put that in the deck. Uh, out of these cards here, well, that's control magic, so let's switch out the control magic for the well control magic. Right? Seems like a good idea. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of Alpha Alchemist. Let's get rid of Future Sight. Uh, what other cards do we want to get rid of? Uh, Insidious Well seems fine. We want to counter spells. Let's get rid of Mind's Desire. Let's get rid of Tap Free. Let's get rid of Dismiss in a Dream. Let's keep, let's keep counter spells because we definitely want to be able to counter things uh, quite often. High Tide, we really want to. We really want to put High Tide on Ice Cross. So if we can grab Ice Cross Scepter from another deck, we should do that so we can use High Tide with it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do here. Uh, other blue creatures control get plus one plus one. I really like this as a lord for the deck, so we're gonna keep Paragon of, of uh, Gathering Mist. We'll keep Guile because countering spells is fun. Uh, everything else seems pretty good. Okay, okay. so we'll keep that there as a base. Uh, we'll remove these cards and put them in the, in the pile over here. We've got Future Side we're taking out. We've got a Fado Alchemist we're taking out. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Mind's Dilation. I think we want to just take that out. Well, maybe. Card is really good to drop when people aren't watching. 
uh, and basically you start taking over the game. Uh, Cyclonic Rift is fine, Counterspell, Clever Impersonator, Desertion, Bribery. That's that all seems, so we'll keep that stuff. Uh, we want to keep as many Cephalid stuff as we want, as we can. But we may take out just some other stuff anyway. Control magic. Put in the full control magic, yeah. Okay, uh, what else do we got? Taking out some of the cards that we don't think would work. Let's get rid of Crown of Ascension. We've got other ways to get flying in this deck. We don't need this card. Okay, and we can put in Mystical Tutor. That seems like an upgrade. Uh, what else do we got? Deluge, Temple Creatures without flying. It's a good way to just stop that. Uh, inertia. Creatures can attack you this, phase, this turn. Hmm. Uh, I do like Mist Divination. I think... Yeah, we'll do Lost... We'll give her Lost in Thought. Yeah, we have to keep all the Cephalids just because we want to try to do Cephalid Tribal. Um, I do like Abishan's Desire. Well, we can just run Boots instead of Abishan's Desire. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of Lost in Thought. Okay, what else will we get rid of? Keep Watch seems fine, Predict Learning seems fine, Cephalid Sage seems fine, Illusionist is of course fine, all the other ones are, are good, okay? Alright, so we've got that. Uh, we, need, we need a way to get infinite mana, so we're gonna have to go for the infinite mana combo, uh, which is uh, Paragon Drake and, and uh, Mr. Flicker guy. So what other cards are we gonna put in? Look at all these extra cards we've got now. So let's put in Illusionist Gambit because that card is really good. Let's put in Flood because we need to flood. Oh yes, we need to grab Siren's Call. That's right. Let us go get Siren's Call. Okay, so what we are going to do is we have to grab Siren's Call, which is one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, ooh, we're going to have to find a way to recur it, too, so we can keep using it. That's a 4th edition card, I believe, and we have it in our in our list here. Looking through the cards here. Uh, we're going to go for blue. If you don't know what Siren's Call is, I will be glad to show you. It is one of the most unique cards uh, that can kill people's uh, creatures if you tap down their creatures. Where are you? There it is. Siren's Call. Okay, uh, it's a one blue instant, which... Actually, you know, there's a lot of cards in the stack that would really benefit from Isochron Scepter, including Siren's Call, so we'll probably go get that. But, one mana instant, all of target's creatures that can attack must do so. At end of turn, destroy any non-wall creatures that did not attack. Play before, only before, during opponent's turn, before opponent's attack. So in their comp phase, uh, search or Siren's Call does not affect creatures bought under opponent's control this turn. So creatures that got summoned this turn, uh, you know, like if they flash something and they don't get affected. So it's really good. We're gonna, we have to get, uh, we have to get. Uh, what are we what are we looking for? Oh, Isochron Scepter to work with this. We have to get that card. Uh, that's the Ramos deck. So what we're doing right now is we are looking for our blue black deck, which I think is in one of these other boxes. And we're gonna steal Isochron Scepter from which I know is in it. I think I might have found it. Yes. There's a counter spell, there's lightning greaves. Where are you? Brainstorm. Equilibrium. Where we play your dog okay, now? That's not, we don't want that. Uh, Kendra's Closet, we don't want that. No, no, no. 
Blade of Selves is hilarious. Very cryptic command. We don't need that. Oh, there's Deadeye Navigator. We needed to get that for sure. For the combo. This spade is okay. Where are you? Stun Devil seems fine too. Flash, Flash is good. We're gonna put that guy in there. We like copying things. Uh, Thick Hustle's already in there. Uh, uh, Flacco Seer is awesome. This uh, deck is currently a blue black EDH deck, the one I'm looking through. But uh, with uh, uh, Phoebe as the commander uh, for Sable, but it was originally a ninja deck. So it looks like uh, Icecrown Scepter is not in there, meaning Icecrown Scepter is likely in some other deck, which I don't know which one it is. That's interesting. We'll have to go look that up. That's really curious. Where is Ice Crown Step? That is the eternal question, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so what do we got going on here? We've got cats come through in and out, so I apologize for that if you cats or hear cats. But you know, that is what we do when we have um, three cats. We have lots of cats. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do now is we're definitely going to put Stun Double and Deadeye Navigator in here so we can have the infinite combo. Take those sleeves out. Put those sleeves over here. Deadeye, Navigator, Stunt, Double. Okay, those are added to the deck. We've got two more sleeves here. We've got High Tide. Wow, yeah, we really need... We really need that card. Um... Where would that deck be? Where would that card be, actually? I guess I should go look it up, really. Right. We should definitely go look that up and see where it is. So, I'm gonna take a look at my uh, deck list. Uh, I recommend if you want to have a great uh, setup for your decks, uh, basically a good uh, uh, what is it? Uh, inventory. I recommend going to deckbox.org. Deckbox.org is an inventory management site that allows you to put it in your entire collection so you can track all the cards that you own, track all the cards that you carry, and you can trade with other people on deckbox.org. This, this uh, stream is not sponsored by deckbox.org. It's just a really good website that I enjoy. Anyway, uh, we are looking for Isochron Scepter in my inventory. because this deck would benefit greatly from it. I own one, and it looks like it was in the Four Color Miracles deck. That is fantastic. I know exactly where that is. Uh, we'll, we will definitely find that card. That is not the deck, <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure we'll find it. There's a bunch of blue-black stuff that needs to probably go back into the ninja deck. I verified that to be correct. Uh, there's Velo Nightclad, who is the commander of that deck. Swift of Boots. Stuff that I took out of the Miracles deck. Like Narset and stuff like that. Oh. That's the green deck. We don't want to mess with that. That's a deck. Did we actually take the deck and remove all the sleeves from it? We might have. I see my cleric deck. Hmm. Ah, uh, we might have to use. Well, we're definitely not going to use Cavern of Souls. Go on. Go on. Cats in the way. I apologize. Marari. Oh yes. Oh, here we go. I think we found. Alright. Full Thren Dynamo looks pretty sweet. Tell me, do you like the card Spy Network? Do you know what the card Spy Network does? It's look at target player's hand. Let's see if the card reader can, can pick it up. Yeah, there we go. It's look at target player's hand. And then 
the top card of that player's library and any face down creatures he or she controls. Look at the top four cards of your library and then put them back in the order. I like that card a lot. I think it's fun to use. So what I'm looking through right now is, oh, there it is, Isochron Scepter. Uh, what I was looking through was my previous uh, Miracles deck, which is a deck that is four color, uh, that uses stuff like, oh, maybe we should use this in that deck too, Ancestral Vision, uh, and other various cards to stack the top of your deck so you can always cast things. Ooh, we should definitely use Consecrated decks too. So, not, so you can always... So you can uh, predict what's going to be on top, miracles or whatever, and then uh, cast them over and over and over and over because you got them back from the graveyard. Uh, I do like Time Warp, but I don't think there's a way to get back my cards from the graveyard in this deck. Anyway. Yeah, let's put Ancestral Vision, Consecrated Sphinx, and Ice Crown. There seems to be some power there, right? So we'll put Ice Crown Scepter in. Uh, we'll put an Ancestral Vision in. That seems pretty good. What we'll go to next is Consecrated Sphinx. We do like a bunch of these other cards like Mind Break Trap and Wash Out and Favorable Winds and Sleep. This is really good. These cards are really good. I have to find a place for these cards, unfortunately. These are cards that need to go back. So we'll put these over here. Um, what is the time? It is. Is it almost... No. Let's see. I fed my cats at seven. Okay, so that's why they're getting antsy because it's getting close. To anyway, uh, I welcome any new to the channel. I am Laboratory Tech Thirteen of the Riptide Project Laboratory, and what I'm going through right now is the last cards that I'm going to use for the. Uh, uh, Commander deck of Ashen Cephalon Emperor. I don't think I like that a sleeve. I'm going to use a different sleeve. We're going to change that sleeve there. So we're going to use a nice little white sleeve over here. There we go. There we go. That's a Commander deck sleeve right there. And I welcome anybody who have just stopped by and take, taken a look at the stream. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. I will start streaming on various other days as well as as soon as I can get my setup working correctly for those days. Uh, but also, I have a YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash c slash Riptide Pro Project Laboratory. You can also just search for Riptide Project Laboratory on the internet, and you can find my YouTube channel. I have Tumblr, I have a Twitter. You can see all that down in the info box below. And I welcome you to the channel. So welcome, Observer. Uh, that's the, the term I call all my people that watch my channel. They are my observers. Uh, and that way it's quite inclusive, so anybody who watches the channel doesn't feel like they get left out. So, I appreciate you watching the channel as well. Anyway, we need to figure out how to get this Consecrated Sphinx in here, because Sphinx is a card. And we need to use Consecrated Sphinx. So, what do we do? We need to take out some cards. Seth, our Illusionist Bracer seems really good. Control magic seems really good. I like controlling enchanted creature. Mind's dilation. Man, I don't know. Consecrated Fink seems really good, especially with uh, some other cards. So we're going to get rid of Mind's dilation and open Consecrated Sphinx. Put that in there. Plus, we can also search up Sphinx when we use Riptide uh, uh, Shapeshifter. What else do we got? We've got, a, we've got a bunch of clones. That seems fine. Shapeshifters are good for uh, cephalids. But we got the Deadeye Navigator infinite combo. <laughs> got a lot of cat hairs, apparently. <laughs> uh, Mystical Tutor seems fine. We're being able to do whatever we want. Blue Suns is really good. Uh, let's see what we got here. We need more... I think we need more stuff to boost cephalids, right? Like, to make Cephalids stronger. And all these cards right here, don't, I don't think we'll do it. So let's just see. We'll put those back with uh, Illusions. Put that back in that deck. Boy, we got a lot of cat hairs down here. We need to fix that problem. <laughs> it's getting all over the cards, so it's making it hard to look at all the cards. Uh, oh. 
We've got the deck set up here. We have much dilation. We've got a cat that's watching us very intently. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at EDH rec. Well, I recommend, funnily enough, uh, one of the sites to look up cards is edhrec.com. edhrec.com is a great website that allows you to uh, search for cards that you need for your decks. Uh, and I like to use it uh, to give me ideas for what cards I want to put into my decks. Well, we got this here. Uh, we can look up and see what we want to use for our. So uh, we've got Deluge here. We've got Dismiss in a Dream. We've got Archive of Imagination, which is fine. Uh, Rare type. I don't know if we have that card. Oh wow. Hmm. That seems like a good card to make a bunch of cephalids. I guess we're gonna have to go take a look. I think we might have a card. That's that. That's a bunch of lands. Can't see it, but I'm looking through a bunch of stuff right here. Riptide Replicator, we do have it. All right, awesome. That then. Ah, so what is Riptide Replicator? Well, since we have Onslaught, I'm pretty sure, in the card reader. There we go. Riptide Replicator is X and 4 artifact. When it comes into play, choose a color and a creature type. It comes into play with X charge counters on it. Four, put an X6 X creature token of the coat chosen color and type the replicator. Riptide Replicator. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I have uh, the card I still need to put in here uh, now that we have the uh, Isochron Scepter, which is uh, untap all your permanents, if I can find it. Oh, did I move it somewhere else? That's strange. Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, so what we're going to do is... Uh, Yes, we're going to put in Dramatic Reversal. That's the card that we need to put in to go with the Ice Crown Scepter. So we got two cards to put in here. We've got some more cards we want to put in there. This is the problem that happens all the time with EDH decks, is that uh, you have more cards that you want to put into your decks. It happens. It happens all the time. So, what are we going to do here well, we're going to continue looking through the list of cards that we want to put into this dagger. Oh, I think Twice is on the list here. I'm not sure if I like that card. Uh, I mean, it, it does have draw, it has this flashback on it. Uh, it's an instant draw card, so you can put it on Isochron Scepter. Um, but I don't think I want to use it. So what are we going to do now? Well, we'll scroll, we'll scroll down and we'll take a look at the rest of the list of the cards. Uh, we have most of the cards that are on the top list of it, but we're going to see if there's any more synergistic cards, creatures, metallic mimic. Seems pretty good. Uh, will break whenever the creature an opponent controls becomes target of spell ability. You control tap target permanent. Oh, with Abishan, it means that when you when you target creatures, you hit them. Breaker. We're probably going to have to use that card. That seems like a good idea. So we are going to have to grab that card. We're going to have to move a bunch of cards that are over here already to get to it, unfortunately. Behind me, you can't see, but there are tons and tons of boxes. And inside these boxes, I have my collection, which are a lot. <clears throat> if you'd like to know how many cards I have in my collection, I have over 20,000 cards in my collection. That is the answer. Um, and there's a lot of cards. And I for them and get the cards I need for this deck. So we're going to look through Origins. Magic Origins has the work that we need. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, it is in blue. Willbreaker, where are you? 
this will actually help me get more cards for the deck that we want to use. Arcane Adaptation, I think, is something I also want to use as well. Uh, which I think will pull out of the Rivals of Ixalan binder. Where are you, Arcane Adaptation? That is blue. Blue! Let's use the default one. Okay. So we can make creatures the chosen types that we want, right? Okay, so what do we get going on here? We've got our arcane adaptation that helps make creatures of the same type. Uh, Mist form war chief. Creature spells it creature type with it costs one less play. Definitely think we should be playing with that. Um question is, was that already in the illusions deck? Let's check that. Is Mist form war chief already in here? Yes it was. Okay, we can use that too. I really enjoy that. Uh, let us... What else do we want to use? We got stun double. Wait, if it gains burying, flying bury it. If it leaves play damage to each non-blue creature. Wow, one damage for each uh, two islands you control. That seems pretty good. That's a board fight. Um, if it gains flying bury it. Neat. Uh, so what's that called? Floodgate? That's a really great design. That's awesome. Uh, and Mirage, which it's three color, three letter code is called MIG. Uh, I'm just searching for it. Homans, there we go. There it is. So floodgate. There it is. Oh, we have awesome, awesome observers. This is going to be super sweet. Okay, so. Floodgate, <laughs> if it gains flying, bury it. So destroy it if it gains flying, or sacrifice it probably. Uh, and then if it, when it leaves the battlefield, oh wow, it doesn't even have to, is it just leaves the battlefield? It does one, one to, to each non-blue, wow, so you could flicker this. You could flicker that. Uh, that seems really powerful. So what are we doing here? Well, we definitely want to put some gate in because that card seems awesome. Um, Empress Galena lets you steal legends from invasion or gain target target just gain could live it permanently. Oh, that seems fun. Let's do that. Let's get her. Uh, invasion, which is in here. Where are you, Empress Galena? I know you're in here. There she is. We're definitely going to run her. Oh, Essence. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to run Empress Galena. See, look at this. I've got so many more cards I want to add to this deck. Siren of the Coast, main contributor of control creatures, clever impersonator. I think is already in here. Let me make sure if clever impersonator is in here. Yes, yes it is. There it is. Clever impersonator. All right. Uh, well. Let's continue on. Junk Troller, put target on the bottom of its own library. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's a really interesting card. Mirror Mad Phantasm. Wow, Mirror Phantasm to mill yourself. That's interesting. Uh, Dreamborn Muse. Mills people. Oh, so it's like there's like a mill sub thing here that people are trying to go in. I can see. Yeah, because he's run crabs in here. Uh, Shape Sharer. There's a changeling. Target Shape Sharer becomes target copy of target creature. Wow, that seems pretty strong. Uh, let's see if we have that card. Shape share. Sure. 
we do not have that card. That's kind of sad. Ooh, Dreamscape artists can just make more mana. That's interesting. Body double enters the battlefield as a copy of any creature in a graveyard. Chase's Archivist, Mole Drifter, Stormtide Leviathan, which is always really good. Oh! That needs to go into this deck. Stormtide Leviathan needs to go into this deck. That's a Magic 2015 card. We might have to put that in there in place of uh, Lorthos. And we do have it. From M15. Why does it say we have... Oh, M13 as well. So, let's look for Lorthos. Lorthos, you're getting evicted. We've got better cards. I like Flood a lot because it slows down uh, the opponent. Yeah, I like Flood a, a lot. <laughs> Don't come at me. Where's Lorthos at? You're getting replaced with the Stormtide. Where are you? There he is. The Tide Maker. Alright, uh, let's see. So... Let's go ahead and grab the Tide Maker. He's from 13, right? Or not Lorthos, but uh, oh, Storm Tide Leviathan. 2013, blue. Tolerant, no. Drew. Storm Tide Leviathan. Wow, he's super, um, super bold. We're gonna play the Stormtide Leviathan. That seems pretty good. Oh. I'm gonna put that in there. Get out of here. Get out of here, Lorthos. We've got the Leviathan. Okay, Lorthos gets put back. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, sirs, uh, and I will be right back.
All right, I should be back, listeners. Well, what are we doing now? Uh, thanks for waiting on the next uh, pass. Of and wait here. Go on. But what are we doing now? Well, we're actually finishing up the rest of our uh, EDH deck here. It is our Abishan Cephalid Emperor uh, Commander deck. And we are actually going to go through the rest of EDH Rex's list of cards that are, are suggested for the deck. And we're going to put those cards in the deck by taking some of the cards out of the deck. Oh, hold on a second. Apologies for that, observers. We actually had an issue with a uh, cat barf. It happens sometimes. I had to feed my cats while I was gone, and sometimes my cats just barf after having too much food. Uh, it's not, you know, I, I don't try to feed them tons and tons of food, but it just happens sometimes. Uh, you know, they, they throw up because, you know, they might have a hairball or what have you. Uh, it's kind of sad, of course. So what we are going to do now now that you are back with me on the stream, we are going to finish up the EDH deck, just like I said before. And I actually have some more water here, so that way I can make my voice not sound terrible. Ah, oh, yes, nice, cold water. Okay. So, we've got the Stormtide Leviathan in the deck, as you can see here. Uh, we went and we got that because uh, being able to if the deck's all about creatures without flying or island walk can't attack, that seems really good for us. Um, the cards that we'd like to add to the deck too, Empress Galena, Floodgate, seems amazing. Um, which if you can keep flickering it, seems really hilarious. Uh, Mr. Warchief, Arcane Adaptation, Willbreaker, Reptide Replicator, and Dramatic Reversal. We've got a little cool sub-theme in here with uh, Isochron Scepter to give us infinite mana and what have you. Um, so what other cards do we want to put in the deck? We have Obsessive Search, that seems okay. Uh, Flash of Insight, seems okay. Engulf the Shore, seems really good. Oh, that returns to everybody's hands. That stuff. Uh, Plagiarize. Uh, snow. Keep Watch, yes. Squelch, no. Hold on a sec. Apologies again, observers. Cats throwing up everywhere. I apologize for that. Things you have to do while you're live streaming. 
take care of cats. Okay, so anyways, like I said, we've got these cards that we want to put in there. Uh, we're looking through this stuff right here. Polymorphist, yes. Each creature target player controls loses all abilities and becomes a blue frog. That seems hilarious. And I don't think I have the deck that came in. Let's take a look, right? See if we've got that card. Polymorphous Jest. Do we have that card? We do! Awesome! Oh, it's an older card from M15! Awesome! So we're totally gonna use that card, because that seems hilarious, and we want to use hilarious cards in EDH. If you're not using hilarious cards in EDH, you're doing it wrong. So let's open this up here. Blue cards! It's a living guild pact? I don't think so. Polymorphous Jess is what we're looking for. Peel from Reality is really cool. Is that a flicker? Oh, there's Polymorphous. We've got it. Ah, return it to your hand. Okay. All right. And that, because that card is going to be hilarious to catch, especially on opponents that are liking to play a bunch of their creatures as vampires or something. You're like, no, they're not all vampires. All frogs, right? That seems pretty good. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? We found those cards. Uh, Dig through time seems okay. Mana short is hilarious. Tap all lands and empty the mana pool. Mana short can be a good way to shut down an opponent so they can't do anything on your turn. I like that. Or if they have an increasingly amazing turn coming up, like you know their next turn is going to be good, just mana short them on their upkeep, right? Yes, we should totally run a short. So let's see if we've got mana short. I know we're not running a lot of tribal cards, but man, these spells are really cool. There's a high tide. Man, I wish I had that high, that version of high tide. Uh, Ether Rise is okay. Uh, turnabout is okay. Desertion, Evacuation, whatever. Sorceries. Touch of Invisibility, target creature is unblockable. It's too, it's too expensive. Mana Vapors. Lands target player controls don't untap during their next untap step. Ooh, that's really good. Ah, oh, that's actually really nasty. <laughs> Extract is really good. Let me just check your combo piece. I like that one. Distant Melody, that's a good card. Hello, you're a cat. Yes, I see you're entering the, the stream. Goodbye, cat. Uh, yeah, I like Distant Melody a lot. Choose a creature type, draw a card. I think that one's from... Lorwyn, right? And we do have it. Oh, it's from... Uh... Morning Tide. Which I do believe we have. All right, well, we can take a look through there. Morning Tide! That's Lorwyn. Distant Melody, where are you? Disperse, Distant Melody, there it is. All right, that's a good card. Got a lot of cephalids, right? So that's gonna be good. We'll run that. What else we got? It's hilarious because it's basically just removing a specific card out of someone's library. God, I almost want to run that just to be 
Yeah, we totally need to run that card. <clears throat> Just so it can be like, okay, who's who's the most craziest person here at the table? Who's got the combos, right? Where's that extract at? Do we have it? We have Dreamwinder, Skip Artist, Essence Den Fervent Denial. Nope, we do not have Extract. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That card is really good. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just have to keep looking for other cards. Contingency Plan is okay. Artistry is okay. Borrowing 100,000 arrows is hilarious. Oh wow, that's actually really good. Draw a card for each tap creature target opponent controls. Do I have that card? Borrowing 10,000 arrows. 100,000 arrows. That card's name is awesome, too. We do have that card. Awesome. All right, well, I'm going to use that card. That's in a commander box here, so we have to pull out commander cards. Conspiracy 2. All right, pull this box out. That's the commander. Which commander set is it in? Looks like the old school and the new school. So let's go for the newest of the new school. I mean, not the newest of the new school, but. That's the commander anthology. Oh. Choose left or right. Order of Succession. Choose left or right. Starting with you and proceeding in the chosen direction, each player chooses a creature controlled by the next player in that direction. Let's play with that because that card is awesome. Wow, this, this commander set was full of really interesting cards. Then we've got Wonder, Vision Scenes. Raven Familiar. Dungeon Geist, Diviner Spirit, Deep Analysis, Deceiver Exarch. Wait, is that an infinite combo too? Oh, hold on, hold on. More issues here, I'll be right back. Oh. I'm back, observers. I apologize again for leaving you to deal with cats, but you know, it's life. So anyway, uh, back to what we were looking at. Borrowing 10,000. That's what I was looking for. Borrowing 10,000. No wonder I couldn't find it. It's at the beginning. Magic. 
Brilliant plan. Draw three cards. No, I think we want borrowing 100,000 arrows. Seems really good. Okay, uh, what else do we want? Turbulent Dream seems okay. Breakthrough seems okay. Production is okay. Recall. Traumatize. There you go. Personal Tutor. <laughs> $20 card. Uh, Volras Laboratory. Choose a color and a creature type. Interesting. Paradox Engine. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Untap all my cephalids to, to tap all my cephalids. That seems pretty good. Uh, let's go get Paradox Engine. I think we only have one, and I think it's in Karn. Let's take a look here. We have two. One is in Karn, and one is in Seton Druids. Okay, so we're going to take it out of Karn. Because we think it's a good... I think it's a good card for this deck. Okay, any, any deck that wants to tap all its creatures or permanents and stuff like that, Paradox Engine is really good for. Oh, anytime you cast a spell. Uh, that actually works with... That works with, uh... Paradox Engine. Uh, no, it's in here. Six mana card, right? Five mana card, okay. Look, mana costs. There it is. Paradox Engine! So we got a card uh, and we'll put in something else in its place. But, but we can look at some of the artifacts here in Rivals of Ixalan and we can put that in there. Archer Raska seems pretty good. Put that in there. Okay. Uh, Conqueror's Galilee has got to go back there too. Oh. Moving cards out. Anyway. Karn's good. Uh, what do we do now? We've got all these cards here. We're going to keep this. Keeping stacking up cards until we play want to play with specific cards. Uh, Ash Conceptor is fine. No, we don't want that. Thank you. Obelisk of Erd. She's a creature type. Hmm. Can help you pay for the spell. Well, Obelisk of Erd seems pretty good. I bet we have some in the commander box, so let's take a look through there. Commander sets always have tons of artifacts because they want you to uh, be able to play whatever you want. And having a bunch of different things in there, especially Obelisk of Bird, allows you to play with a good bunch of tribal creatures. Tormod's Crypt, no, I don't think we need that. Wow. Devonural's disc, I don't think so. Uh, 
Obelisk of Esper, that's not what we want. Probably gonna have to go look for Obelisk Bird in a different set. Yep. That's right. Well, we'll just have to see where we've got it, right? Obelisk of Erd. Two and M15. Okay. Uh, apparently I had one in the Wizard's deck, too. I guess we'll have to look and see if it's still there. Spencer's Journal... This is not the Wizard's deck. Uh, Time Warp is definitely not part of the Wizard's deck. Uh, Jason Mind Sculptor is part of the Wizard's deck. Uh, what else do we got? Well, we have this card pile over here. Let's see if Obelisk of Erd was in there with the wizard deck. Don't think it was. Conjurer's Closet is. Which sounds hilarious. Um, hmm. The creature becomes tired of spell ability with Shuko. I see Shuko on the list here. Is that like an infinite combo? That you can target it? Target the creatures in here? Might be. Let's find out. Ah, you can you can target yourself. I don't want to do that. Nope. Obelisk of Erd, though. We really should play with that card, but it's fine. Um, Conda's Banner, no. Only attached to a legendary creature. Umbral Mantle gives you the combo. Soul Foundry seems interesting. I'm pretty sure we have. We can use that. <clears> or <throat> incubator makes things cheaper. Crucible World seems really good too. Ring of Three Wishes, Coat of Arms. Coat of Arms seems really good. We already run Shuffle of Shrine. We got Web of Inertia. Oh, Faces of the Past. Wow, that's a really good card. We need to get that one. That is in... Scourge. Yeah, that's a really good card. Frozen. Solid. Yes, whatever creature is put into a graveyard from play, tap or untap all creatures that share a creature type with it. I. Ooh! Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, it shuts down a lot of creature decks. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put that card in there. Propaganda seems okay. Levitation is okay. Ristic Study is okay. Temporal Distortion. Every creature or land becomes tapped, put an hour last counter on it. Player permits with an hour last counter on it. Don't untap during controls. Untap step. Uh oh. Ooh, I like that a lot. Wow. Ooh, wow, yeah, that's really good. Hmm. Yeah, lots of just things tap down. Wow, that seems really good. Uh, Psionic Gift seems really good, too. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we should get that, too. 
Sonic Gift and Temporal Distortion? Yeah, we're gonna get those cards. Lots of really like old cards that people don't know about, which will be really fun to use. Distortion. There it is. We got it. We'll play that card. Um, and then Sonic Gift from Odyssey seems really good because we're going to tap on it and tap features a lot. If we have it, I'm pretty sure we have it. There it is. Sonic Gift. Wow, we're going to do some really cool combos in this deck. Can't wait to talk to you about those combos when they go off too, Observer. So we got those, Sonic Gift and Temporal Distortion. What else have we got? Chamber Manipulation, we already have that. Homerad Spawning did is hilarious. Pemanzora is really good. Pemondor seems really good. Stand still. I don't know if we have stand still. Let's take a look. I think it's hilarious. We do not, unfortunately. Invoke Prejudice. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, if anybody plays... <laughs> if anybody plays uh, creatures that are not my color, they have to pay double. I like that a lot. We do not have that card. Of course not. That card is expensive as hell. Uh, free from the real. Tap or untap and gen creature. Coastal Piracy. like that one a lot. Oh, why, why did that not reprint it? Or did like a better version of that get reprinted in Ixalan? Do not have that card anyway. Um, mind control, whatever. Treachery. <laughs> Treachery, yeah. Steel creature on top of your lands. Don't have that card. Control magic, that's fine. Uh, Jace is a card. No, we don't want that. Huh, Nykthos, nope. Can't use Nykthos in this deck, definitely, because we ha I have it in another deck. Cephalid Coliseum, though, is pretty funny. Ghost Quarter. All right, I think that's it. That's all the list of the cards suggested for the deck. So we're going to go back up to the top. And we are going to the next phase here, which is we are going to figure out what we'll take out of the stack for the rest of these cards. So, uh, yeah, there's a ton of cards here we definitely want to play with. So, uh, yep, we're going to put all these in here. Definitely going to do that. Yes, all these cards are really good. Can control that creature, as long as you have a Willbreaker. Yes, with tap target permanent seems really good. Uh, yep, so we're definitely want to run all this stuff. Uh, how many cards do we have to take out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards. Take out 15 cards, that's fine. <laughs> so first of all, we're going to count the lands here just to make sure we have enough lands. Uh, we need to take those out. 
We're getting really close, observers, to the end of this deck, and I appreciate everyone who has watched or at least checked out the stream. I know it might be not that interesting. It's like, you know, just watching somebody doing draft of Rivals of Ixalan or something like that. But I appreciate everybody who has come check out the stream at least to see what I have to offer. And of course, if you haven't checked out anything else that I have by Riptide Project Laboratory, it is Riptide Project Laboratory on YouTube. Definitely check it out. I've got that. Subscribe to that. Check that out. Uh, it is going to be Riptide Project Laboratory's year this year. We are going to do tons more content. Uh, we've got lots of stuff coming up. We'll even post a deck list of this uh, on the channel. Uh, so that way people who haven't watched the whole stream, uh, both parts, can check out the list of everything that goes into this deck and I will describe all the different combos and stuff that happen in the deck. So here we go. We've got one, two, three, Thirty-six lands. That seems good enough, right? It seems like a lot of lands, right? It seems pretty good. Okay, so thirty-six lands. The rest of the cards need to be sixty-five or sixty-three, sixty-three cards. Uh, so what do we want to take out? We have to take out fifteen cards. Uh, Merchant Skull seems pretty good. Got to keep the counter spells in there. The Sapphire Medallion, the Sky Medallion seems really good for ramp. We want to ramp into the commander. Um, Worn Power Stone seems good, Brainstorm seems good, Cage Sun is good, Psych Rift is good, Clever Impersonator is really good, because I like copying a Planeswalker with this card. Uh, Desertion is good, Soaring, Bribery, Search. Let's take out Deep Analysis. That's one. Stick out Compulsion. Well, being able to draw this card seems really good. Uh, let's take out Deluge. Because the commander can do it by himself anyway. So that's two. Uh, Web of Inertia seems good. Mist of Stagnation seems good. Oh wow, this is actually really good with Temporal... Uh, manipulation. Wow. Uh, we got all these cephalids. Pedantic learning doesn't seem like it'd go off that often. Yeah, I'll take that out. I uh, got all these cephalids that need to stay in there. Ambassador Loquatus needs to stay in there. Consecrated Sphinx is really good. Flood's really good. This Gambit. I really want to play with this card. Yes, we'll keep that card. Uh, Illusionist Bracers, also I like that. Because we have a combo with that. Control Planet seems good. Ancestral Vision seems good. Acceptor seems really good. Uh, Stunt Double is really good. Siren's Call. This might not have too many sp in here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we don't have too many spaces, so we'll just have to put in the three best cards right here of Deep Analysis, Illusion, Pedantic Learning. So, Sonic Seems seems really good. Total Distortion seems really good. Faces of the Past seems really good. Paradox Engine seems really good. Um, wow. Yeah, there's just so many choices here. I like Sonic Gift because if we can continue tapping and untapping stuff with Paradox Engine, we win the game. Uh, Order of Success seems really good. Gain control of creatures. My creatures are terrible, usually. So this is this should be fun. Faces of the Past seems really good. Uh, we might just run all these. Oh man, I really want to run Temporal Distortion because it's fun. Um, Distant Melody doesn't seem like it's going to give me that much. Oh, I want to run Polymorphous just because messing with this. Wow, and all this other stuff is really good. We need space for this stuff. Well... <laughs> These other stuff, these other stuff that can become creatures and stuff like that, we can take out some other creatures and things. Yeah, we just need more spaces for all this stuff. We can not use borrowing ten thousand arrows and well, maybe. 
Uh, there's lots of lots of things in here that we can use. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going until we can find a space. Let's go through and take out some more cards then. Yeah, lands. We probably could take out an island. Let's let's drop an island. So we got four. Uh, this is rough. This is really rough. Uh, let's take out Merchant Scroll. I know tutors are really good, but we need space. We need space. Warm Power Stone seems really good for Mana Ramp. Cyclonic Rift is just really good. There's just like a staple of blue cards that are really good in every deck, right? And you don't want to get rid of them. Oh, Desertion is really good. Hmm. I do like taking their things, so we'll keep that. I like Bribery a lot, because people get really mad when you go start going through their deck. I guess we'll take out Alter Reality. Uh, we'll take out... Don't want to take out Compulsion, because being able to discard a card seems really good. I really like Web of Inertia. I like the art on it, too. What are we going to do? There are so many things we want to use. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I gotta keep all the cephalids in here, of course. Or else it's not a cephalid deck. Uh, Master Loquatus is for the infinite mana combo milieu. Could also ensure that you untap stuff with him. Um, Concert Experience, of course, is amazing. We might just take out Flood uh, because I mean, it's a great defensive card. Yeah, we'll take out Flood. It seems fine. Uh, Illusionist Gambit really want to keep that card. Ah, oh, such a good card. I guess we can take out Illusionist Bracers. Yeah, because... Yeah. Control Magic. Ah. I like Ancestral Vision. Hmm. This is really rough. I guess we'll have to take out Stunt Double. Mystical Tutor. This is really rough. I like Paragon of Gathering Mists. We have a lot of counter spells, so we don't want to get rid of Guile. So how many cards do we have to now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, we're actually up to 10. So we could take out 5 more cards here. Or we could remove 5 cards that we don't want to play with over here. So let's, let's get rid of Distant Melody. Uh, Arcane Adaptation is fine. Well, actually, it gets worse if we don't have... Well, hold on. It gets better because of uh, Abishin. We want World Break... Will Breaker in there, so that's four. Uh, we can get rid of Dramatic Reversal. Well, no, uh, that's actually a combo. So that's five. Six. Uh, Riftop Replicator makes more Cephalids. If we pay five... Seven. Uh, exchanging control of creatures seems really good, especially with Willbreaker. So eight, nine, ten. Floodgate. Ooh. Okay. So we'll definitely take out Miss from War Chief. Ah. So we've got these. Three. Ooh. Empress Galena. Temporal distortion and polymorphs. Jess. Ooh. Ooh. We've got a lot of card draw. Uh, Arcane Ad Adaptation seems really good to turn all our stuff into cephalids. <clears throat> I 
guess we're just going to have to get rid of Dramatic Reversal. We've got, we've got Paradox Engine, so I guess we can still work that. Um, Order of Succession seems really good. Floodgate seems really good. So what do we put in in place of that? Let's put in Empress Galena. Oh, wow. Uh, this is really rough. Huh. Sonic Gift can also help us take creatures, which is really good. I really like the Temporal Distortion, so I guess we're just going to have to roll off an Arcane Adaptation, unfortunately. Like, I really want to play it, but... Yeah, we'll do that. Well, that just makes all my supplements worse, or all, all things that are not supplements worse, so I guess we have to keep that. Uh, borrowing 100,000 arrows is really good. Tap roll and tap all creatures that share a creature type. That Riptide Replicator is really good. Wow, that's really close. I think we either look for two more cards to get rid of from the deck. Yeah, we have to. Like, I really want to. Yes. Yes. So we need to get rid of two more cards from the deck. Alright, so what are we going to get rid of? Mm, this is really rough. All right, so we're, since we're done with uh, EDH Rec, we can get rid of that. And we can keep all the cards that we're showing over here. So we're getting rid of these cards right here, Mystical Tutor and a bunch of other tutors, unfortunately. Uh, because we want to play more fun cards. Uh, we're keeping Guile. Because we're, we have a lot of counter spells in here still. We got some good draw spells. This is all the lands. Uh... I guess we might want to get rid of Sky Diamond. Yeah, let's get rid of Sky Diamond. So that's one. Uh, what else will we get rid of? Sephir Melon, I like this better because it makes things cheaper. All right. So we'll get rid of Sky Diamond. And we need to get rid of one more card. Just one. I like Search for Scantile in the back. Compulsion, I'm looking heavily at here. It's our draw card. I don't know. I really like that card. Oh, this is so close. Just one card we need to get rid of. Dead Eye Peregrine. Gotta have that combo. Maybe Swan Song? They make a bird. They make a flying creature. Yeah, that seems not good. Let's count Swan Song. Alright, so we've got it. Temporal Distortion and Polymorph Chess and enter the, enter the deck. We have the complete, complete Observer's deck list here, which I will post. Uh, and make a video about and you will definitely see the deck list of this however we have finished now and so now we're going to sleep the rest of the cards and we're going to say our goodbyes because that i think we're at the end of our stream now i think it's like what 11 30 yes okay so i appreciate everybody who stopped by to the stream i'm going to continue uh sleeving this up and then we will maybe do a little quick shuffle up and see what uh what, it, what comes out of it and see see how the deck plays. But, like I said before, I appreciate everybody who's watched the stream. I am, of course, your host, Laboratory Tech 13 of the Riptide Project Laboratory. Uh, you know that I enjoy lots of cards from various sets and being able to make a Cephalid deck from one of my favorite blocks ever, uh, Odyssey block, uh, is fantastic. And the deck has lots of really cool interactions in here that I can't really wait to uh, use. Wow, uh, Alter Reality actually, huh, can do lots of stuff with Isochrome Scepter. That's interesting. We might have to use that again. But I like Order of Secession. Um, especially with Willbreaker, I can st steal the creature back no matter what. Um, when it comes under my control, it becomes a Cephalid anyway. Uh, that seems really good. And Floodgate seems hilarious. So we're going to use that. Floodgate gains flying buried. Wow, we should really use um, Conjurer's Closet in that deck with the Floodgate. Too many, too many other things that work really well when they're flickered, right? Aha! 
So we do have a way to give it flying. That's good. All right, so let's take those cards over here and put them away into the pile that needs to go back, which my wife will get to later because she's really good at putting away cards. Thank you, wife. Um, and now we're going to take a little test of the deck. So we're going to see how this deck works. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And you will actually get rewarded with seeing how this works. We're going to do a quick shuffle here, see what we can draw, see how the deck works, and then uh, we'll say our goodbyes. And I will see you stream. I will stream later uh, at a different time. And we'll, we will get to work on some more decks together or maybe some other different types of, of stuff that we'll stream. Who knows? Uh, all I do is I uh, stream about some really cool stuff. So thanks for watching uh, Riptide Pro Lab. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to uh, the Twitch channel. And we will get underway here. We've got a new deck here. So we've got, oh, the Consecrate, Half Our Medallion, Land, three more lands, Summary Dismissal, was that six? This is actually a pretty decent hand. Faces of the Past right in the starting hand. So let's go ahead and try this out here. Let's test it out. So we've got all these cards. We got Myriad Landscape, which we probably want to enter tapped at some point, which we probably want to do first. So turn one, we'll draw a card. Keep watch, fantastic. We'll put in play Myriad Landscape, untap, draw. Uh, we will play an island and we'll tap for two. And we'll drop Sapphire Medallion, blue spells cost one less to cast, fine. Uh, so then we'll untap here. Draw a card, we will uh, drop a another island. I don't know if I want to search this turn, if I want to drop Faces of the Past. I think I want to do that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and tap for two here. And let's drop Faces of the Past. Uh, whenever a creature is put in the grave from play, tap or untap all creatures that share a type with it. Untap here, let's play another island. Uh, everything costs super cheap now, so... I think what we want to do is we want to, well, you know what? Um, let's not play the island. Let's go ahead and tap this two mana, sacrifice the landscape, go search for some, for two more islands. And then, those come to play tapped. Let's shuffle the rest of the deck. Shuffle the rest of the deck here. It's really hard to shuffle in the air, especially a commander deck. Face of the past usually good if players are playing some crazy stuff. You can tap all their creature types down. That seems. Fun. Okay, so we got that shuffled. Uh, cut that, and then we'll play Coral Tall, which will bounce all the islands back to our hands. So that means we can tap for some sick mana next turn. So we will untap for our next turn. Draw a card, drop an island. Now we've got, what, six mana now? So why don't we go ahead and drop a... We could drop out the uh, co the commander right now. So we got six, right? So we can play the commander, and then we can ta you tap him to tap target the permanent. That seems interesting. Now let's just play, let's just jam Consecrated Sphinx in there. That seems fun. That's what, turn four, Consecrated Sphinx? Uh, so we'll have to tap uh, almost everything. Tap these, and then tap down to three. So we have one, one mana open, which we can cast anything with two mana, which we don't have. So they'll draw a card, I'll draw two cards. Let's assume like we're playing a three player game, so I'll draw two more cards. I'll draw two more cards, and then I'll draw to my turn. So we've already drawn like seven cards. So we need some way to keep our hand this turn, and I don't think it's gonna happen. However, this card costs two. Cal Suppressor. Uh, somebody chooses a creature type. Um, we'll go ahead and suspend Ancestral Vision. We will... Let's see, one, two, three, four. So we can play anything for five. We'll drop out... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll actually pass turn and we'll drop... Let's see, we have, what, four cards? Seven, eight, nine? We'll drop two islands from our hand. And we'll keep our whole hand, right? So we'll, we'll let them go. Uh, we'll get around their turn. We'll probably counter a spell. We'll draw two cards. Draw two more cards. 
draw two more cards, and then draw a third card. Wow, we're just drawing tons of cards here now. Concentrated Sphinx is so good. Play an island for the turn. Uh, we, we got Wonder. Uh, we have we have Borrowing 100,000 Arrows. We have Cephalid Illusionist, the Aristocrat. We got Paragon Drake. We're almost there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the Illusionist. Let's drop uh, Temper 3, 4. Let's drop the Aristocrat. Let's, uh, since so we can tap for anything for three, let's drop the Broker. And then we'll have to discard cards at the end of the turn, so let's discard a land. Let's discard Wonder, all my creatures have flying. Uh, what are we down to seven now? Fantastic, all right. So we'll go ahead and untap for my turn. Again, we will probably have drawn like one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll draw that. Man, we need we need we need lots of ways to keep our hand in this deck because we're gonna draw a ton of cards. So we may have to put Thought Vessel in here in place of another card because we have not seen it yet. Unless it's already in here. So let's make sure. Is Thought Vessel in this deck? Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion it is not. Is right have right reliquary tower? Yeah, it's down there. It is not. So we might have to put it in this deck. Hmm. Hmm. Well, all right then. Um, well, that's it uh, for our build of our Abishan Cephalid Emperor deck. I want to uh, let everyone know that I appreciate you watching uh, the Twitch chat. Uh, watching my Twitch stream, and of course, the video VOD of this will be uploaded to YouTube as well, so that way you can watch all of the uh, action on there. And I appreciate everyone who's come to see my stream. So, uh, remember, as always, stay watching, Observer. This is Laboratory Tech 13 of the Riptide Project Laboratory. And, like, I appreciate everyone showing up. So, we're going to off and goodbye.